Pakistan is all set to host the SCO summit. That's the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. This summit will take place in Islamabad on the 16th and 17th of this month. Heads of state will be in attendance. Indian Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar will also be there. But is Pakistan equipped to handle a summit of this scale? I ask because yesterday another terror attack took place in the country. 20 minors were killed in Balochistan, eight others were injured. No group has claimed responsibility yet. But this is the second attack in Pakistan in just a week, which brings us back to the questions. Can Pakistan assure the safety of the SCO summit? And what sort of security measures are they taking? Our next report tells you. The attack took place on Thursday night. The location was a coal mine in Balochistan's Duki district. A few gunmen stormed the accommodation where the miners were living. They gathered them in one place and started to open fire. Twenty people were killed. Three of them were Afghan nationals. At least eight others were injured. They remain in a critical condition. No group has yet claimed responsibility for this, but this isn't the first such attack in Pakistan. Earlier this week, two Chinese nationals were killed in a bombing near Karachi's international airport. The Baloch Liberation Army was behind that. So, two attacks in just one week. It's concerning for Islamabad, especially given the timing. Pakistan is all set to host the SCO summit on the 16th and 17th of October in Islamabad. SCO is the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. India, too, is a member of this group. Pakistan had invited Prime Minister Modi to the summit, but the Indian Prime Minister isn't going. Instead, External Affairs Minister S. Jashankar will attend on the 15th of October. This is the first time an Indian Foreign Minister is visiting Pakistan in nine years. The last was Sushma Swaraj in 2015. Other heads of state will also be in attendance, including the Chinese Premier. So Islamabad has had to get its act together. It cannot let terror cast a shadow over the summit. So Pakistan is taking some drastic security measures. For five days, starting tomorrow till the 16th of October, all restaurants, cafes, wedding halls and other clubs will be closed, both in Rawalpindi and Islamabad. All cash and carry marts will also be closed in Islamabad. As part of the extensive security measures, commandos and sniper shooters will be deployed on the rooftops of all multi-storey buildings in the capital as well. Not just that, suspects will not be presented in court for five days. Courts are also rescheduling hearings. They will only take place after the summit. Reports suggest that there's also a ban on pigeon and kite flying. Authorities have even demolished pigeon nets present on the tops of buildings and other establishments. The government has also declared a holiday in the twin cities of Islamabad and Rawalpindi. All education institutions and government offices will be closed. This is to ensure a smooth preparation for the summit. So Pakistan is pulling out all the stops. But can it ensure a safe SCO summit? Terror attacks in the country have shot up since 2023. Last year, 1,523 people were killed in terror attacks in Pakistan. This year, the number is already at 1,534. The latest terror attack is an indication of that, and it raises doubts over the safety of the high-profile meeting. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes. And its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.